right back talk to you. Oh, hey. Should we be sure ready to go? Yeah. Okay. This is my 2018 Scamp that me and a buddy built, uh, obviously the winner of 2018. Uh, she is a non-kit boat, so we built out a bunch of plywood and a bunch of epoxy and too much time and too much money. She is a John Wellsford design Scamp microcruiser coming in at 11 feet and 11 inches. Draws, oh, that is almost 7 inches with the keel up. Uh, let's go around and take a look. So it's recommended that you steam bend a lot of this stuff. We didn't do any of that. And so some of our seams are a little, there's a lot of pressure built up in this little guy. Um, there is a concern that it may explode one day, but uh, so far so good. A couple joints are a little stressed that uh, we've been doctoring back together. But we're not gonna steam build, that's, a, that's for a bunch of bitches. But where are the cracks? I don't, you don't worry about it that much, but uh, yeah, that's why, that's why you steam bend. That's a good point, B. Because uh, it wasn't a kit, we had to extend plywood out from the standard 8 feet to the whatever length these plankings are. So hey, B, come here, I'll show you. Go up in here. I need you up here. And so those little puzzle pieces match together so we can extend the plywood. So the one you're looking at right there is the uh, half inch sole of the cabin. Uh, we made the scarf joint by going to a uh, CNC guy and having him cut piece of aluminum into the puzzle shape that we wanted and we flip flopped it on two pieces of plywood, snap, bang, fill with epoxy and now you have long plywood. Why is there any hatches? Well, it's made for micro cruising, so I don't know, to tell you the truth. Uh, apparently I want to spend $700 on hatches. You can see up there, there's a little hole number, 413, that's a touch, a nice touch right there. Boom, 413, 2018. The uh, mast is constructed out of Sitka spruce that my buddy's dad uh, harvested before Alaska was a state and had it sitting in a sheep barn for the last 40 years. He let us splice it together to make this cool mast. It's uh, a bird's mouth style, so they all kind of interlock together. It looks less impressive there, but when it was in pieces, it was really cool. The other two spars are made out of laminated yellow cedar. I had a look to make sure we had yellow cedar. Made this little dandy too. This little uh, touch is because we cut it in half on accident because I had too many beers and then I had to put it back together so I made it pretty. Uh, this boat it was supposed to be made with a water ballast. Um, we did not do that. We decided to melt down bullets instead and put lead in our keel. There's 175 pounds of lead in here. You know, my boy Walter went down to the gun range, uh, screwed up a bunch of bullets out of the I guess my urban mine, a bunch of bullets out of the hill, and then made a big melting pot with a big propane burner underneath it, melted the lead, uh, got a good stiff wind going the other direction so you don't die, poured it into these ingot shapes that I think we actually use a little cast iron made from making muffins. Biscuits. Biscuits. One of the modifications we made on our boat, paper mate, is that we cut a footwell in. So instead of having that water ballast here, we have this luxurious footwell. There's stuff going on here, but it's nice because I'm too old and inflexible enough to be doing this crap all day. Uh, centerboard trunk just hidden behind this. I don't know if it's a bulkhead, I guess it would be a bulkhead. Hidden behind this plywood here is a little uh, block tackle system that raises and lowers it. It is weighted both the rudder and the what is this one? Centerboard. Keel. Center, uh, sure, keel. Swing keel are both uh, weighted with extra lead inside, so they're. Uh, negatively buoyant, they will always go down unless pulled up the otherwise. Uh, Sail, so my lovely wife, put this together from a Sailrite kit. Um, I think it turned out rather nice. Sailrite does kind of ball you though, they do tell you to put these grommets in the bottom that you don't actually use. Thanks for checking out the tour of my scant paper mate. Um, it was a great project. If I did it again, 
even though it pains me to say so, I'd probably use a CNC kit. But I'm very proud that I built this one instead of bought it. Special shout out to my buddy Walter who helped me build it. And this coming up next week, we're going to take the old girl out of Homer and see how she sails. <laughs>